homeowners said they thought the original fire was out, but both the homeowners and the hooks at fire department say there are a couple of valuable lessons to be learned from this fire. From the outside, the home at 7 Arden Drive in Hooksett doesn't look too bad. However, if not for smoke detectors, this could have been the scene of a tragedy. In this situation, you know, the smoke detectors saved their lives. Uh, had the wife had not heard the smoke detector, then uh, probably the outcome could have been a lot different. It began Monday night with a small fire on a back deck. The original fire, they believe, was started by cigarette ashes that was in a, a cardboard box with some combustible recyclables on the back deck. The homeowner thought he put that fire out. However, around 1.30 Tuesday morning... The fire alarm actually woke me up. I heard the beeping from the fire alarm. Tina, who asked that her last name not be used, said there was smoke in the house. She woke up her husband, and they were able to escape with their cat and pet turtle. It seems the fire had smoldered and spread to the house. The kitchen was gutted. Uh, there's no power to the home at this point due to the electrical problems that we had with the fire in the kitchen. Damage to the home is estimated at $50,000, but Tina is grateful they made it out safely and thankful she made sure the batteries in the smoke detector were working. I just replaced mine, so make sure your batteries are in there and that they're working because they're really important. They really can save your life. And even if you think a fire is out, like in this case, firefighters say sometimes it's impossible to tell if the fire is actually out. That's something that we can check out with our thermal imaging cameras so we can get into those void spaces to check and see if there is any hidden fire in those areas. The bottom line, even though you may feel foolish, the fire department says it pays to call them and have the professionals check things out. In Hooksett, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.